the invisible assassin who will just materialize, kill you, and vanish again. It's just a scary looking combat machine. It's basically you to kick down the door. There's a particular set of targets that absolutely has to die. There's no choice but the 117. The truly revolutionary F-117 stealth fighter is actually a bomber. But from the moment it was devised back in 1973, the U.S. Air Force wanted its real purpose concealed from the world. You don't even know what the hell it is. It doesn't look as though it's from this planet. The reason for the secrecy? The stealth fighter's astonishing design made it almost invisible to radar. The world's air defense systems became obsolete overnight. This invisibility to radar took over 10 years to perfect, but essentially, it boils down to two design features. The first is the basic shape. It has large flat surfaces, and those large flat surfaces reflect energy like a prism, so as radar hits it, it sends those radar beams out in any direction other than where they came from. The second technology that was used was the coating of the aircraft with radar absorbent material, or RAM. The net result of those two technologies working in concert is that virtually none of the transmitted radar energy gets back to its originating source, making this aircraft darn near impossible to detect. Kept in special hangars to protect its sensitive radar absorbent material, the surface of the stealth fighter requires constant maintenance. It's got to be as, as smooth as you can see this is right here. This is, this is how it needs to be. Now, this small area right here would actually be picked up on radar. If we do not do our job correctly, this airplane won't come up. Only 20 meters long, but capable of flying over 700 miles per hour, the single-seater stealth aircraft was focused primarily on infiltrating Soviet airspace. The stealth bomber was originally designed to fly around over the Soviet Union hunting for Soviet mobile missiles. And when communist Russia realized they were effectively facing an invisible aircraft, the end of the Cold War was in sight. The Soviets simply no longer believed that they could compete technologically because of the damage that it would do to their economy. 